Good morning, class five. Um, I want all of you to turn to lesson number nine, the Bell of Justice. It's on page number sixty-five. Okay. Let's read the story and find out why the bell was hung in the marketplace. Artri, a little town in Italy, is built halfway up the side of a steep hill. A long time ago, King John of Artri bought a large brass bell, and it had it hung up in a tower in the marketplace. To this bell, he fastened a long rope that almost reached the ground. Thus, the smallest child could ring the bell by pulling the rope. It is the bell of justice, said the king. At last, everything was ready. All the men and women and children came down to the marketplace to look at the bell of justice. It was a very pretty bell and was polished until it looked almost as bright and yellow as the sun. Now we should like to hear it ring, they said. Then the king came down the street. Everybody stood very still and waited to see what he could do. But he did not ring the bell. When he came to the foot of the tower, he stopped and said, My people, he said, do you see this beautiful bell? It is the bell that must be rung only in case of need. If any of you is wronged at any time, he may come and ring the bell. Immediately, the judges shall come together and hear the case to give justice. Rich and poor, old and young, all may ring the bell, but only when you have been wronged. Many years passed by after this. Many times the bell was rung to call the judges together. Many wrongs were set right and the wrongdoers were punished. After a while, whenever people thought to steal or lie, the memory of the sound of that bell and the justice that followed would change their mind, and the bell rang less and less often. Eventually, the rope that hung from the silver bell began to fray. By and by, the rope became so worn that it was too high for the children to reach. The judges gathered to repair it. But... They had no hem. Let me fix it for you, said the man. He ran to his garden and soon returned with a long grapevine in his hands. This will do for a rope, he said, and he climbed up and fastened it to the bell. The slender vine with its leaves and tendrils still upon it trailed to the ground. Yes, agreed the judges, it is a very good rope. Now on the hillside above the village, there lived a man who had once won in many a battle with his best friend, his horse. This horse was then strong and had carried him to safety through many a danger. However, now he had grown old and could not ride. He sold all that he had and accumulated a lot of wealth. All day he sat among his money bags, planning how he might get more money. His horse stood in the open half staff and shivering with cold. What is the use of keeping that lazy horse, said the man to himself one morning. It cost me to keep him. I can't even sell him because no one wants him. I will return him out to graze by the roadside. If he starves to death, so much the better. So the loyal old horse was turned out, lame and sick. He strolled along the dusty roads one hot afternoon when no one was upon the street. The horse chanced to wander into the marketplace. He saw the grapevine rope that hung from the bell of justice. The leaves and tendrils upon it were still fresh and green. What a fine dinner it was for a starving horse. He stretched his thin neck and took one of the tempting morsels in his mouth. As he pulled at it, the big bell above him began to ring. All the people in archery heard it. The judges put on their robes and went to the marketplace. They were surprised to see the old horse nipping at the vine. Ha! cried one. It is the miser's horse calling for justice, for his master has treated him most shamefully. He pleads his cause, said another, and he shall have justice, said the third. Meanwhile, a crowd had gathered. They saw the horse. They said that they had seen him wandering on the hills, unfed, uncared for, 
while his master sat at home counting his bags of gold. Go bring the miser before us, said the judges. And when the miser came, they said, This horse has served you well for many years. He has saved you from many perils. Now we order that you set aside half of all your wealth to buy him shelter and food to comfort him in his old age. Everyone deserves justice, even our animals. The miser nodded. Yes, I will, he said. The crowd cheered with joy. The old soldier led the horse back home and he lived there for the rest of his days, feasting on grass and hay and sleeping with his belly full and his heart mended. He was loved by one and all who came to visit and to thank him for proving that the bell of archery would always offer justice to all. Isn't that a beautiful story?